Welcome to r slash I don't work here lady, where we share stories about folks that are mistaken for employees by irate customers. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to join our awesome community. And now, without wasting any more time, let's dive right in. Sweetly confused. Today I was at the store when I saw a rather nice I don't work here lady moment. There was this pair of young women looking for an item but were clearly confused at where it was. Behind them was a Coca-Cola employee stocking the shelves. He was wearing a red shirt like the uniform of the store. Yo handsome, do you know where… Oh, said the one woman with red hair. Her face went from a playful smirk to an oh crude, I messed up. Oh, I don't work here, well I do, but it is for… started the cola man. Delivery, said the woman and the cola man together. I'm so sorry, I saw the red and assumed… I was just looking for an item, you wouldn't have an idea where it is anyways. She said with a playful tone, yet still clinging to hope. Nope, sorry, thanks for calling me handsome, said the cola man. Oh, no problem, I will try to find it on my own, thank you, said the woman before the two started to walk off. I was going the same way, I could hear the friend teasing her friend about the I don't work here moment, the woman just shrugged and said, you know, I call everyone handsome, beautiful or something of the like because I mess up like that often. And before I started calling people those names, they would yell at me for being confused and you know, I'm always confused. Can you imagine if Karen actually admits her own mistake and then compliments you? I think we should find an appropriate name for nice and friendly Karens that are actually smart enough to admit their own mistakes. Give me some friendly Karen name suggestions in the comments. Angry Freezer Stalker So in my perusing of this and my other favorite subreddits that make me feel a little better about working in retail or at least not alone in dealing with the type of customers we all see, I read a few stories about be accosted on breaks etc. So this is my story. The cast is me, lowly cashier trying to enjoy a day off, AFS, 4 foot 6 old lady aka angry freezer stalker, M mom and her brief appearance. This happened a few years ago, but as it's a story I've repeated a few times with co-workers, it's mostly still fresh. I was on a day off, the first one I'd had in 10 days and doing a bit of grocery shopping with my mom. Rent where we lived was insane, so I lived with her and dad. We had made it around the store and our last stops were bakery and dairy. Mom heading to dairy while I went to bakery. Now I had been working at that particular store for about a year at that time and would pretty well work any shift including being called in. So I was easily recognized by customers, mostly it was fine, general friendly conversation, joking about being allowed a day off, typical stuff when you see a regular. In this particular store, bakery, dairy and frozen foods take up a big chunk of one corner of the store. They had recently been working in the freezer section, but I had not paid much attention as it was not my department. It was also only one section and was not a huge change. Ice cream had moved from one side to beside frozen dinners and frozen fruit were now next to frozen veggies. Nothing had been taken out, to my knowledge nothing was discontinued, just moved from one side of the aisle to the other. I was in the farthest corner of the bakery deciding on a flavor of bagel when I hear this voice. The freezer section has changed. I turn and look and this little old lady, AFS, is standing there with a basket and her can looking at me with this angry look on her face. Me, pardon? AFS getting madder. The freezer section is different, they moved the ice cream. Me, oh I did not realize that. I have not been over there yet. I know they were working there a few days ago. I grabbed my bagels and bread and headed towards dairy and our shopping buggy. AFS following me. They changed the freezer, why? Me, I don't know, it probably came from head office. I realized my mom was not in the dairy aisle anymore, so I set off to find her. AFS still following me, still getting angry. AFS, I want to know why they changed the freezer, now I cannot find the ice cream. To get to the dairy aisle, you have to walk right through the freezer section. So I looked around and easily spot the ice cream. Me, oh, they just moved it to the other side. AFS still following me as I turn down the coffee and tea aisle. But they moved it, why? I want to know. 
By now I had spotted mother and was trying to make a not obvious beeline, hoping that this crazy old lady would get the message before I had to start being rude. Me? I'm sorry but I cannot answer that. If you go up to the customer service though, they can call a manager for you. As I placed my items in our buggy, she finally seemed to realize I was not working that day. She crumbled something and walked away. Now, to save anyone from asking if I was dressed like I was working, at the time we had a very strict dress code, black dress pants, black shoes, white collar top and bright red vest. I was wearing a flowery sundress and flip flops. I think in total this lady followed me down at least three separate aisles repeatedly saying that the freezer section had changed. Like really? I never got that the first 20 times you said it. I had originally thought that she was a regular but I did not recognize her which is not unusual and I never saw her after that. Well guys first of all this person obviously doesn't know that if you work in retail you obviously have to sign a contract which states that you have to satisfy Karen and do what she says at any given point. On a second note I just had a cream cheese bagel for breakfast and I'm curious what kind of bagel you guys prefer. I gotta say I really like the cream cheese and salmon ones. But anyway let's continue. I spoke Armenian and paid the price. I am Armenian American and I look kind of Armenian and kind of American but have a ginger beard. I was wearing basketball shorts and a black t-shirt along with my white gold necklace. I went to Best Buy with a friend and his mother and we were in the home theater section. I love me some home theater. As I am helping them pick out some speakers and explaining in Armenian how the home theater components work, I feel a tuck on my necklace. Now this necklace was given to my father from his now deceased mother and he gave it to me. It means a lot to me, I felt a tuck on my chain and turned around angrily to see a man in his mid 40s or so. I call him A for a hole and M for me. A snidely, can you hurry up with them and help out the rest of the people here? And you shouldn't be talking in foreign languages in America, especially while you're working. Me? I don't work here and if you touch me again we are going to have a problem. A. You don't get to talk to customers like that and still have a job. This is not whatever shithole you came from, you cannot treat people like this. The irony was not lost on me and I was getting very mad. My friend knows that when I start smiling while I'm angry I get a little stupid so he tells me to relax and kind of guides me away from him. Security is coming over to us at this point as the a-hole has decided to follow my friend and me. A-hole keeps ranting as I am trying to stay calm and my friend is doing his best impression of a peace-filled monk. For context I have a shaved head to go with the beard and I don't look super friendly. Although I try to be most of the time. Security comes over to me first and he asks me to go with him. I agree and tell my friend and his mother to come to get away from the a-hole. As security is walking with us to sort out what is going on, a-hole decides to poke the side of my face. This causes a problem as I push a-hole away angrily but thankfully my friend grabs me and keeps me from retaliating. A-hole then spits on my friend while trying to spit on me and he says some more racist things. Security goes to grab a-hole but before he gets there we hear a loud smack and see a-hole stumble a few steps to the left. My friend's mother, she's in her late 50s, we are both in our 20s, had taken off her thick soled immigrant sandal and smacked the man on the side of his face. Hard, very hard. If anyone knows what those sandals are like, they are the ultimate weapon in the hand of a mother. I would rather deal with a navy seal than a mother with those sandals. Security tackles the guy, my friend calms down his mother and cops arrive. After reviewing the tapes and taking statements, the guy gets arrested for a couple counts of assault and battery. I get confused for a worker all the time, especially if I speak Armenian to someone else. This was the first time it had gotten physical and only the third time I had a confrontational exchange about it. I could not believe it had actually happened for another couple hours and still am weirded out about it. We ended up getting a sweet deal for some ELAC speakers for him so it was a net positive experience. By the way guys speaking about electronics even though it's a little bit unrelated, are any of my viewers on a 4K monitor? I am actually thinking of buying a 4K monitor solely for working 
and actually to take screenshots from Reddit that look more crisp. So yeah, tell me your experience with 4K monitors in the comments. Thank you. And either way, if you have watched until here, please don't forget to like the video and give me some stars in the comments. All the support is very much appreciated and now let's continue. Recent experience made me laugh so hard. I, female 29, was at a grocery store doing some heavy duty food shopping. My cart was pretty full when this happened. My grocery store has handy dandy scanners that you can walk around with to make checkout easier. I was fiddling with it when a guy about my age came up to me. Guy, do you work here? Can you help me? Me, I don't work here, sorry. Guy looks at my packed cart. You look like a mom, maybe you can help me then? Where are the... Looks at ripped paper in his hand. Oreos and funnel cake mix. I couldn't help myself, I busted out laughing. First, I am as far away from a mother as anyone could be, I cannot stand children. Second, my cart tipped him off that I was a mom. I was bulking up because my brother just moved in with me and my boyfriend. Third, he was asking about Oreos and funnel cake off of a ripped piece of paper. Me, still laughing, the Oreos are two aisles over that way. And the funnel cake mix is in the baking aisle, next one after that. Guy, hey thanks, have a good night. Oh and finally, this is the opportunity to ask you guys, especially because my audience is like 80 or 90% American, which is your favorite cookie brand? I am a huge cookie lover, so please give me some good suggestion in the comments. She demanded that I, a delivery guy, check her groceries out, so I did with my package scanner. Had quite an amusing I don't work here lady encounter over this past winter break. Keep in mind, at this point I had been binge reading this sub for several months leading up to this moment, so it almost felt surreal that I had this opportunity. To set the stage, I was working as a holiday helper for a new PS. As a holiday helper, they had us wear cheap brown vests with a small company logo on them. You would think that would be enough, but apparently not. Now, although we mainly drop packages off at people's houses, we also went through a shopping plaza to drop off stuff at different stores. We were dropping stuff off at Kroger when this happened. The way it worked was, I would take a cart loaded with packages into Kroger along with a DIAD, which was basically a scanner we used to lock in packages and mark off deliveries. I usually did this delivery alone because it was simple and my driver could use the time to organize other stuff. So off I go into the store with a decent amount of packages stacked up on the trolley, where I roll them over to customer service. Usually there's someone behind the desk when I come in, but sometimes the employee is out on the floor helping someone find something like they wear today. Standard practice for me is to unload all the boxes behind the counter and then just wait until an employee comes back to sign off on them. So I unload all the boxes, stack them behind the counter and then lean up against it to wait for someone to come by. While I'm waiting, I casually take out my phone and begin browsing Reddit to pass the time. Then I heard the <coughs> So I looked up to see some 50-something year old lady scowling at me with a cart packed to the brim with food. She had graying blonde hair done in that I want to speak to your manager style and was wearing a bright pink Nike top, blue leggings and about two metric shit tons of attitude. We stared at each other for a moment and her expression soured with each passing moment like the milk that was undoubtedly curdling in her cart. Finally, she broke the awkward silence. Well? I shrugged. Well, what? She shoved her cart forward, almost bumping me with it. Are you gonna keep ignoring me or are you gonna check me out? I looked at her, then down at my uniform, which consisted of a grey hoodie, black sweatpants and my trademark brown vest. Kroger employees wear black khakis, blue collared shirts and no brown vests. I looked back up at her, trying to remain polite and recited this sub's anthem. I don't work here, lady. I'm just dropping off packages. The sour woman scoffed and jabbed a finger at my DIAD. Bullcrap, you're just too lazy to help me. Start scanning these. She shoved the cart at me again, this time bumping my thigh. Or I will get your manager. I was not sure why she did not go to the standard checkout line either, but I guess if things got really busy, Kroger... 
allowed customers to go through the customer service desk too. It was not very busy anyway. Now I could have taken the easy way out, told her to politely F off and left, but then she took her phone to make a call and snapped her fingers at me, mouthing, come on, I have to be somewhere. So I decided to help her out and began to unload her groceries one by one in the most tedious manner possible. I scanned each fruit, can, veggie and box with the DIAD, which is normally used for recording people's addresses. Funnily enough, it did not know where the kiwi or the rotisserie chicken live, but it does make a satisfying little bleep when it rejects an address, which sounded quite similar to a product being scanned. I kept doing this for about 10 minutes, often misscanning something or inspecting it much to the woman's annoyance. From time to time I would interrupt her phone call to ask her a ridiculous question such as Would you like to add another grape to this bunch? There's one in here with a brown spot. She would usually answer with a huffy What? Stare into space as she slowly worked through the question and then shake her head sharply as she went back to her conversation. She reached her breaking point when I inquired as to whether or not she wanted her ex backed individually or all together. What? Why the f would you? What? She demanded shrilly. I stood there, DIAD in one hand, egg crate in the other, looking completely innocent while trying not to die laughing. I could swear I heard her mind briefly shutting down at the stupidity of my question before rebooting. Calmly and with a polite smile, I repeated the question. Her face was almost as purple as the grapes I'd offered to discount as she struggled to form words. What kind of a dumbass question is that? She croaked, her manicured nails digging into trembling palms. I placed the X back in the bag while nodding sympathetically. The kind I ask someone who's too stupid to not take the hint that I don't effing work here. By this point, the Kroger employee working the customer service desk returned and the lady turned on them with the fury of God. How can you let an employee treat me this way? I shop here all the time. How dare you treat a valued customer like that? To their credit, the customer service worker took the verbal assault pretty well, holding their hands up in a holy crap gesture as they tried to calm the lady down. Then they looked from her to me and back to her and simply reiterated what I said. Ma'am, he doesn't work here. I was fascinated to see the doubling down when you're wrong mentality in action, but to my surprise all the wrath leached out of this harpy in two seconds flat. It was the look of someone who realized the only way they would save face in a situation like this was to simply drop it. She pursed her lips at the employee's words and looked at my brown vest, as if thinking I was somehow still defying her logic. Well, she said coldly, you just lost the customer. Then, quick as she had arrived, the Karen turned on her heel with a flip of her grey attitude do and stormed off. I was tempted to say that was more of a win, but figured I had antagonized her enough. Holding out my DIAD for a signature, I asked if the employee had ever encountered her before. He said he had, but never that angry. She was usually just demanding and arrogant to anyone else when she shopped there. After getting his signature, I helped him repack everything and asked if he needed me to help him take it back. But he said no, it was worth it, just getting another tumorous customer out of the store. Once everything was settled, I returned to the delivery van. This entire ordeal only lasted about 15 minutes. My driver Jeff was not too angry. He had arranged the rest of our packages while I was delivering and just told me to be fast the next time. And then we continued about our day. You know guys what really intrigues me? Usually the only customers that say you've lost the customer are always the customers that you are actually happy to lose. And then again no way in hell will Karen not come back. I promise you did not purchase a vibrator from our candy store. So I work at a candy shop. There's a sex shop in the neighborhood with a similar name to our store, so when I tell people where I work, I always have to add the one that sells actual candy. This is a phone call I got today. Woman, my name is full name, and I have a complaint about one of your products. Who can I speak to? Me? I can help you. What is the problem? I bought a rabbit vibrator from you, and I don't quite know how to explain it, but... Me? I'm so sorry to interrupt, but you've called the wrong store. 
Woman, it fell apart while I was using it. I was hoping you could explain to me how to put it together so that it does not do that. Me, I'm sorry, but you've called candy store. I think you meant to call the sex shop. Woman, you should still be able to help me if you sell the same products. Me, I'm sorry, but we are a totally separate company with totally separate products. We sell candy as in the food. We don't carry any adult products. Woman, I called phone number. I bought this yesterday and this is the first time it's been put into use. I'm just wondering if you could help me. Me, that does not change the fact that you're talking to a person who works at a store that sells candy. Hang up and phone the sex shop. Woman, if you want help me, will the one in different neighborhood help me? Me, um, sure. Good luck. Woman hangs up. And unfortunately guys, that is the last story for today. Please don't forget to give me a like if you want to support my channel, because all support is very much appreciated. I hope you have a fantastic day and I see you again tomorrow.